Hi there, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own typewriter function. So let's get started. So first we need to add this import. Uh, you'll see more why we need it later. So import time. And now let's add our function. So typewriter function. So def type write. So what this is going to do is this is going to make it so characters appear one by one rather than a bunch of gross chunk of text coming out so we can read it as it goes along. So let's take in a uh, car or you know what we could call it that or we could call it string. It doesn't really matter. And then now the easiest way to do this is to turn our string into a list. And you're probably like, oh, that sounds super hard but it's not actually going to be that hard. So all we need to do is list string. I'm calling it that, but you can call it whatever, as long as you make sure every single instance of list string is called that. So now let's put in string. And if you want to test this, you can go print list string and run it real quick. Um, test out typewriter so oh my god sorry uh so now we're gonna do type write and now all we need to add is any string so hi um so now you see for testing i'm gonna put in something bigger hello there my name is codebotter You must be user. So now it will take every single space and turn into something. And you see every single character has turned into a list item. So now what we have to do is we have to make it so they print out one by one. You're probably like, oh, that sounds super tiring. But no, we can actually use a for loop. So for x in list string so it's going to go through every single character of list string and now what we're going to do is we're going to make it print that character so print well let's rename x because x isn't that clean let's do print car so we kind of have more of an idea and let's do time dot sleep time dot sleep makes it wait and I'm going to do 0.05. You can always edit this. If we test it right now, it's pretty cool looking, but that's not exactly what we want. It's not all appearing on one line. So what we're going to do is... Okay, so now we have to do end equals... This means nothing. However, it won't work exactly. We have to add one tiny detail. So now we're going to add flush equals um, true. So now it should be closer. To Honestly, I don't have that much of an idea on what flush equals true truly means, but it buffers our print. So we just have to add one more thing. Return. So this just gives it nothing. It just gives it a uh, empty string. So now, and uh, let's test this out. So let me go grab something from a bigger thing so we can test this out and see if it's fast enough for us. Okay, so now I copy and paste a very long Azure summary. So let's see if this is big enough. So. This is basic, this is from Undertale, because I love Undertale, but, um, so let's test this with something else. I think maybe a little faster, so let's try 0 0.025. I think that's fast enough, and, okay, so now I want to give you a few heads up. Just a few reminders when using this. So, if I have hello there... And then right after it, I have type right. Hi, 
So see what happens. So they become one thing. So you have to use backslash n if this was after print. I don't think if you do a print and then you have this, it will affect it, but let's see. Okay, so it also makes it so print statement won't come the next line. If it is, um, I think if there's a print before it, that shouldn't happen. Print automatically goes to the next line. Uh, but if you have a print after it or you have a typewriter after it, then that won't work. So just be careful. You need to make sure you have a backslash n if you have something. So, for example, I could fix this by simply going at the end of my thing backslash n. I could do that. That's one way to fix it. Or you can go and do have a backslash n at the start of the print because we set the end equals to nothing. So that means that there's no spacing. That's how we managed to get all the text clumped together. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please subscribe. Thank you. Hopefully I will do more videos like these. And bye.